Yo, what's going on everybody? Sweatfingers coming at you with another video today. I'm trying to figure out why my car has been idling. Her hasn't been idling like shit, but it definitely, you know, when you maintain about 3,000 RPM or jump on the throttle, uh, you know, you get, a, you get a definite power loss. So I was uh, out here yesterday taking off these plugs, right, to my dizzy, these wires. See, that one's not so bad, but you see there's a little bit of blue residue. I don't know how many, uh... I left, come on, whatever. I got a new dizzy and stuff I'm putting in right now, but, okay, let's see, let's go with this one. This one's probably got a shit ton. I don't want to break it, okay, there we go. Yeah, look at that one. Look at that, it's not even touching, it's just fully retracted in there. See, look at that. I mean, that's how they basically all are. Then look at the top end of the, the dizzy. Look at that, just, that caked with that blue freaking residue. So that's gonna be, what I'm gonna be fixing today. I'm gonna got I got some new wires, some new uh spark plugs and uh the new dizzy, so hopefully that'll kinda help things, you know, it's, it's gotta get replaced either way, it just looks like shit and you know, just one less thing off my mind uh, about this car. And then in the front I got my AC. I don't know if you can see that. There's no AC uh so I'm probably gonna take out the whole AC unit. Uh right here the heat shield. You know, it's just uh, super, super wobbly. I need to take that out, but the only issue is when I go down to that O2 sensor, uh, kind of hard to take out, and I want to wait till I get on a lift to take it out because it make things a lot easier, but yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, as you can see, we got our supplies. We got the NGK spark plugs for uh, 98 uh, 240SX, S13 coupe, the dual or single red right cam. We got our Dizzy. So the OEM one is uh, black and this one's brown, so I don't, I don't care. But yeah, we got the Dizzy guys, everything. I mean, look how crisp that is. You can see those contacts are beautiful in there, not corroded. You know, you got your cardboard screws. And then I got my uh, my premium import ignition wire set, guys. So uh, the guy recommended these ones over the OEM ones. They were 10 bucks more, and he said just the quality of the wires are... Uh, a lot better you know for just for paying 10 bucks so i got those so hopefully everything will be well my only issue is that i need to find the right size for these spark plugs because my tools i mean as you can see in the garage they're just uh they're spread out everywhere you know so hopefully i'll be able to find the right socket set there's the old dizzy you got your wires ignition wires and you got your spark plugs so before i start taking anything out i duplicated the dizzy so i have to adjust my timing so that's why everything sits, you know, uh, I checked the wiring, made sure it goes, it made sure they're going to the same uh, place, you know, you, so that way the spark hits the right cylinder and you're not misfiring or going to a different cylinder or something like that, you know, don't want to get my timing all screwed up, but yeah, so I did this and then next I'm going to take off the distributor cap right here, you know what I'm saying, and then we're going to uh, put this new dizzy on and then we're gonna swap like a one for one swap so we'll start with like the first cylinder and work our way back guys uh, I wish I knew the cylinder numbers like the firing order because right here you see like they put tape on here for the one through four and I'm not quite sure you know because it said one was this far one and then two and then three and then four but I'm pretty sure it goes one two three four but I have no idea don't quote me on that I don't know shit so yeah that's our first little project uh, get this in I'm gonna have to before I do that I'm gonna have to uh, what am I gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do a spark plug uh, my spark plugs check the gaps on them and then I need to find the right tool you know to write uh, socket excuse me right socket to put it in there take them out but kind of curious to see how they look uh, it does backfire through the intake I don't know if you guys knew about this but we took the intake off and looked at it and it just black on the uh the engine side and then up on here on the actual filter side it's nice so you know it is backfiring through the intake so hopefully this will help sort that out if not uh get a timing light auto zone just the timing see uh you know maybe it's too retarded or too advanced i don't know but we'll figure it out guys okay so we took out one of these little sensors. I don't know if this is the map or this is the map. I took out both of them. I don't know. Spray it with some map cleaner, guys. Uh, hopefully it won't fuck it up, but should be fine. You know, I did fix this. Like I said, the car runs way better uh, with the distributor and wires and all that. You can definitely tell it's got uh, it's like a little deeper tone and uh, 
it feels like it feels like the cylinders are like getting their spark you know before it was running super uh i don't know i don't know how it was running to be honest so it's probably lean though just because the intake backfires you know if it was running rich it would fire out the exhaust but it's firing uh the intake so yeah it should be all good what's that okay so working on the car uh fixed the idling and all it wasn't even idling bad but fixed the uh distributor the dizzy you know uh the ignition wires and replaced the spark plugs so that is good you can tell the engine sounds a lot more healthy and everything i thought that would have cured my check engine light but it did not so i read the codes properly this time and i got a code 45 which is a fuel injector leak which explains why I've been smelling a little bit of fuel, but I thought that was because underneath where my exhaust meets the cat. Or I don't know where the cat's at, but it's like a second muffler, like a resonator. It's a resonator, that's guys. But where the exhaust meets the resonator, when you're looking at it, like a uh, giant hole. I mean, giant, giant hole. The, the, the muffler just sitting in there and it's just a hole and it shakes all around and everything. So that needs to be fixed. Uh, but that's not top priority right now. I know uh, back pressure is important and everything, but... Uh, you know, I'm trying to not fix that right now because I don't got the monies or patience. But I am going to go get new O-rings for the injectors. I looked and just one injector is leaking from the outside. Uh, you can definitely tell it's there. It's just, it's, you got to kind of know what you're looking for. I never knew, uh, you know, to check there. But you can see on the uh, intake manifold that there's a little bit of a uh, discoloration. I mean, you, I'll post a picture of it here, but you can barely tell that uh, it's actually... Uh, like a different color and then I looked around the injector and I, I just looked around the o-ring and I saw a little bit of orange residue so uh so yeah we're definitely going to change that up never change that an injector so uh hopefully it should be good I'm just going to get one o-ring uh kit just for that first injector you know go to local auto parts store hopefully less than a couple dollars but should be good uh if not then I'm going to start replacing the injectors down the line uh so I think it's injector one I think that's the uh or cylinder one, whatever you want to call it, the one closest towards the uh, the bumper of the car. I'm not too sure about that, but you know, it just makes sense, guys. But yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I got my fuel fuel injector O-rings. You know, uh, got to install them. Hopefully, it fixes the leak. But right now, first things first, right? Safety first. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, I already pulled it, but uh, it's an EGI, aka fuel pump relay you know i want to depressurize uh the injector over here i don't want fuel spraying everywhere to break something or whatnot i don't know that's just what all the write-ups say make sure you pull that sucker so uh definitely going to be doing that uh and then when i'm done i saw a thing uh by chris fix where he actually puts a screwdriver up to the uh up to the injector and then you can like listen through the screwdriver and make sure you hear uh like a constant continuous clicking making sure that the solenoid is actuating and releasing you know back and forth so we'll test that out for each one when i'm done but hopefully uh this one is the bad one it does have the most uh all the other ones look fine but this one definitely has like residue at the bottom and the o-ring doesn't look like it's seated properly so we're gonna go ahead and change that out we're gonna depressurize the fuel from the fuel tank too let's go around here you know so let's take this cap off look how moldy that is i gotta clean that gross Okay, and then poke it with a screwdriver. You know, open up that valve, make sure all the pressure is relieved. Uh, and then put it back on. Or we're going to leave it off just while we uh, crank it up. We're just going to crank it for like five seconds. Should be all good. If I can find my freaking keys. Where did I put them? Okay, hopefully nothing bad happens. Never done this before. Come on, baby. Just crank it up for a little bit. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully that'll work. If not, I'm, I'm a dead man. This video won't be posted. Okay. So the fuel injector is in nice and secure not going anywhere uh replace the o-rings on that looks like it should be good these ones are on there good too uh 
yeah, hopefully everything's good. Just waiting because there's a little bit of oil in there, or excuse me, uh, gas in there, oil, same thing, kind of. But, uh, so I'm just waiting for that to evaporate so I don't catch this on fire. But I'm trying to fix my headlights why they won't pop down. They won't retract, but they will go up. So I don't know if that's like a fail safe feature. So it just will do that like automatically. I don't know. So, I, I mean, that tells me the motors are good. I'm like 99% sure these relays underneath here, I think there's three retract relays. Those are good too. But I was looking in here for this timer. Guys, if you guys know about this, there's a the little black box with this timer and I came across this. I'm wondering what the heck this goes to guys. Uh, I have no idea. There is something on here. I'm gonna read, you know, it's from Japan. I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure out what that goes to, but just kind of curious what what the heck does that go to guys i mean i have no idea uh i checked all the fuses they were good too so if you guys have any ideas on why these headlights will not retract you know hit me up let me know because i'd definitely be interested and i have changed out the combo switch uh like i said in my other video and it uh you know it wasn't even that corroded wasn't even that dirty so i i don't know i don't know what else to check like i wish i knew what wires to check i did look at the uh, it was a factory service manual and it's hard to read you know I work on jets and can read schematics but this one's hard to read because it goes through like diodes and stuff and the pins aren't numbered so I don't know but yeah stay tuned okay so check it out look at this filter this is the engine side too guys I mean look how burnt it is it's the engine just sucking up all that crap you know you don't want paper in the engine it was backfiring because it was too lean of a mixture or it's too rich I think it's too lean though that causes this so I did up change out these uh this crap over here the dizzy wires and plugs and i got new o-ring seals for the injectors so it should all be good hopefully i get the check engine light went out which is good so she can replace it Here, put it. so it's so dirty so. yeah look how pretty this one is nice and pretty and this one's just so here, here's the air side and here's the engine side look how Burn. I mean, that's horrible. Like yeah. It's weird that it's oh. Beautiful. Now we won't be sucking up crap. So I do want to take this off, but I'm too lazy. So whatever. Okay, while we're here, we're going to get to these relays down here and uh, own them out, figure out which one's which. So be right back. Okay, so we removed all three of these retract relays. Uh, we're getting no power to them, so I don't know what it goes through. I think, I don't know what it goes through. I mean, I doubt all three wires are broken. So, I don't know. I got to figure something out. I tested number one to ground. Yeah. Should be fine. I don't know. 